we just thank God for giving us friends who stick closer than brothers. Praise you know? God. I mean, I'm not sure brothers stay that close sometimes, right? But a Christian brother stays Christian brother. forever. Joseph, in the last chapter of your book, and by the way, his book is available on our website. You can go and get it and just order it there. And uh, Servants of Fire. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's called Eternal Companion mm, for Raining. For Raining. Yes. Yeah. Well, hey, tell me about that because that kind of perked my head. Well, energy. you know, a lot of times we're in life right now, we begin to think about how we're living, what's going on, and what's God going to do in my lifetime. But this is the smallest part of our existence. Yeah. This is the very shortest fragment of our existence. Think about it. There's going to be a time that comes called the millennial reign of Christ. We're going to be in that. And angels will be there with us. Yes. But then after that is a whole nother segment of reality that the Bible says very little about. I believe what we do now, I'll quote Maximus from Gladiator. What we do now echoes an eternity, right? <laughs> I believe that what we do now is going to bring out victory for what we're doing then. Adam and Eve, I don't believe, are just supposed to tend a small garden. I believe they're supposed to tend the entire earth, yeah. right. and it could be so much more beyond that. Right. It could be. We can only speculate. But in that, there were angels that equipped, and they stood with them, and they followed the word of God that God purposed for mankind. When we do the will of God, angels help, and I believe that goes into eternity future with the new heaven, the new earth. Do you know you're not made to live in heaven? Mm-hmm. You're made to live on earth. We're terrestrial beings that God's going to give us new bodies with a new earth, and that's not country, that's rock and roll. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'll amen. tell you, God's going to bring out some great things, and angels will continue to assist us. I believe they'll be companions for helping us reign in yeah. eternity future wow. that we know very little about. And the small things we do right now, such as sowing, such as acts of obedience, such as finding our grace lane and getting in it, I believe that that is absolutely what sets us up for eternity. Somebody might, you know, I'm getting a word right now for somebody watching. Mm, okay. I'm sensing somebody, okay. you're bedridden. Mm. You're in bed right now. And the Lord is saying unto you, oh, I have such a great future for you. Thank you. Your future is so bright, you're going to have to wear sunglasses to look at it. Because mm. wow. God has called you and he's marked you. And this is not the end. Amen. This life is not the end. And even if you don't see everything you're believing for, believe me now by the word of God, there is a great reward coming for you. Thank you. And if you can finish strong, I see the Lord saying, I'm going to encourage you right now. I'm strengthening you right now. I see your organs coming to life even right now. Come on. I see your mind firing in the Praise synapse. And life is beginning to flow there and your eyes are enlightening even more. I release that over you right now. The fog that hits you during COVID, I break it off yeah. your life Jeez. in Jesus' name. And the Lord's mm. saying to you clearly, I see the young girl you're concerned about, wow. but my hand is upon her, mm. and I'm leading her, and I'm guiding her, and I will draw her out yes, of the Lord. gates of hell mm. by yes. your prayers, yes, and you've got one more round in your life. Mm. And this is for many people. Yeah. God has Jeez. a great future for you. Wow. It's a good day, mm. a good day in Goshen. It wow. is a good day. Amen. Amen. I believe with Praise all my heart there's very few of us that believe in praying for the sick that are still on television. Yes. We believe yes. in the power of God. Yes. Alan. Hallelujah. I feel like you got something to say. Come on out. And, and I believe you're not here by accident. I, I believe that you and, and, and everybody on this platform there's destiny. Yeah. God's putting an army together. Yeah. Sometimes I feel like I'm the ragtag, you know, part of the motley crew. Ragtag yes, army. That's right. David. But oh, I, there's a great scripture I read yesterday. I can't even remember how it goes now, but it was that God just loves using the poor. You loves mm. using the people that are ignorant or weak and not strong he says if you're weak he says i i i'm i'm yeah i know you're weak he said but but i'm strong Come well, on. We, we have a mutual friend ron mcintosh mm. who wrote uh, the quest for revival 
And he defined revival as the marshalling of God's forces in preparation for a divine invasion on society. Come on. And there is a marshalling that is taking place because we are in that final moment. We are in the eschaton, the last of the last days, to the point that even the secular media notices this, which is why every commercial you see right. is offering you some kind of hedge against inflation That's or right. economic collapse. Mm -hmm. You see them offering gold and yep. silver yep. and all this kind of stuff. But the good. Bible gives you a plan. Yes. And that plan right. is lay up treasure yes. in heaven, heaven. Yes. Yes. where yes. thieves cannot break in. Come Amen. on, somebody. Amen. Where rust cannot corrupt, Amen. where moth cannot enter in. And what we're talking about here is your heavenly account. Right. Yes. The Bible said in Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth yes. with the Holy Ghost yes. who Come went on. about doing good yes. and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. Doing good in the Greek is where we get the word philanthropy. Mm. <laughs> he went about doing philanthropy. Here's what that verse actually says. Jesus went about giving money. Yeah. Think about and it. healing all that were oppressed of the wow. devil. That's awesome. That now, when you look so back awesome. at the Gospels, you see that's the case because yeah. when Judas is missing, they just assume, well, he's out, you know, on assignment from Jesus, giving money that's to right. people because that's what he does. Jesus' ministry was to go out giving and you have to have the same mind in you that was in Christ Jesus. And know that when that dollar leaves your hand, it does not leave your life. That's right. Amen. It is being laid up as a treasure in heaven. And what an opportunity wow. right wow. now. Wow. What an opportunity to uncap a well, to dig another well by sowing into this ministry. Yes. Yes. I believe that's where we are right now. Yes. That's why we're excited to sow into this. Yes. And we're thrilled and honored to be here. Amen. A Thank part of you. 63 years yes, sir. Yes. celebrating mm -hmm. an historic Praise ministry. God.